there, I'm Chrissy with Divine Design Tarot and today Capricorn, we are doing a weekly reading for you for January 2nd to the 8th of 2022. Ooh, I have cleansed and meditated over your cards, so let's begin. I'm picking up on energies that's circulating around me. This is a general reading, so please just keep in mind that we all possess free will, um, that we're able to change anything at any time, okay? It doesn't have to fit your story. Um, if it doesn't, don't take it. Don't force it to fit if it doesn't. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, if you're here for your placements in your birth chart, your sun, moon, rising, or moon signs, um, or if you're here for insight into someone else, then just keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. Okay? So, uh, let's see what else. In tarot, you may show up in the court cards as one of your two sides. We all possess a masculine and feminine side. Tarot does not assign gender to the face cards, okay? So it, you're either going to come up in your feminine side or your masculine side, and everybody has these two sides to them, okay? Um, let's see, all spirits' messages are timeless, so if you are here with me now, spirit definitely has a message for you, okay? So let's get going on this Capricorn. We're going to do your past, present, future, and with the bottom of the deck as your challenge. All right. So I'm just going to shuffle a couple more times here. Okay, so what I see for you in your present or recent past, I should say, um, is the Five of Wands reversed, the Knight of Wands, and the Death for rebirth, okay? So it looks like there's no more fighting going on in this relationship, whether you're with somebody or not, or recently have been... Um, split up or separated um, it looks like the fighting has stopped it looks like there might be some common ground here the knight of wands is someone that's really passionate for you and they really want a new beginning uh, with you they don't want any more fighting they want to get on the same page they love you they're willing to do a death and rebirth and come in as someone you need so you do have somebody here for that's willing to put in the work. Okay, and we will clarify. We're going to do your present. The now. You, looks like you might have a decision to make with the Two of Swords, but you might not have all the information you need. Okay, you might be flying a little blind on this, so um, there might be some things that might be coming to your awareness. You have the Strength card here, so Whatever your choice is, yeah, whatever your choice is going to be for this, you're, you have your strength to finish off the cycle, either to close out the cycle and finish it once and for all, because that is what looks like is coming in for you, okay? In your new future, Page of Wands, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. I only read, you know, usually, I don't usually do reversals. So, even if there has been fighting, you know, yeah, I, you know, I'm just not going to do reversals, you know, because there's just so much stuff already in the world that's negative. So, let's try to keep this positive, shall we? So, okay, so there was fighting in the past. Um, but they're very passionate for you. They want things to work with you. They don't want to let go of you. 
they want to have a new relationship start again. Um, perhaps this is somebody you've been off and on with over the last month or two. Maybe you just kind of seem to get it together with this person. But it looks like they need to have a bit of a rebirth and come back as someone different. I don't know if you're going to recognize this person when they do come back with this rebirth. Okay, so you will try to make it. You will try to make a decision without all of the information. Okay, you're gonna just go for it. You're gonna be strong about it. You're gonna use your strength card. You know what you're capable of. You know you can do this. You you already know that this is something that's coming in for you. So really, what is the risk? <laughs> you know. Go for it. You know it's going to pan out. You already know that. It's already in the cards. Because we have the Page of Wands for your near future, which is a passionate new beginning with the lover, with the lover's card. And then you also have the Two of Cups. So if the lover's, then Two of Cups, and the Page of Wands doesn't clearly say to me... <laughs> that this is a brand new beginning because it looks like you had the strength to close out this cycle and I have a feeling this past person here already went through one rebirth with you I have a feeling that they're they're going to come out something different with the world card they're going to be um, finishing off that cycle because they want to start in on the new cycle with you they want a new beginning of love passionate with the lovers the lovers is commitment um, joy love commitment compassion all of it I mean this is true love divine love this here is the the twin flame card too so uh, as the two here um, Wow, this is a powerful connection. This this actually could be something that is from a past life or some kind of soul recognition I'm feeling for you, Capricorn. Well, we're going to clarify, but first we're going to check bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. Wow, yep, planting new seeds. Someone wants a new beginning. They want to help you financially. They saw that you've been out in the cold um, with the five of pentacles. So you've been out in the cold, okay? You were carrying a heavy burden with the ten of wands. The king of swords come, is coming in to rescue you. You are their nine of cups. They see you as the queen of cups. You are their wish fulfillment. Yeah. Wow, I really like this for you, Cas uh, Capricorn, um, because this is this is all a renewal, another chance at your wish fulfillment. They've leveled up. You, you did cut them off and that was a big wake-up call for them yeah they did not want you to choose to end the cycle with them they're really hoping that this is going to change in the future that you will eventually come back to them you might be just dating them or having them in your life or possibly reconnecting with them as a part of um, as a as a step in the right direction actually because you know I think you're going to go back I think you're going to give this another world I think you're going to see this person in a different light I think they're going to surprise you some on how much they actually love you and I think you already know this. This is just confirmation to something you already know. <laughs> All right. 
So we'll just put the bottom of the deck challenge there. Um, let's see here. Can we get clarification for the Five of Wands, please? Oh, the Emperor. I only read upright and I'm only going to stay as upright, okay? So they're leveling up. They're becoming the Emperor. Um, they're, they don't, or maybe you are the Emperor here. And they're just, you're tired of fighting. <laughs> That's what that is. The Passion of Wands, the Knight of Wands. What's the passionate? <laughs> Coming in. Oh, see, now they want long term, right? With the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to plant these seeds with you for long term. They want to see this come to light, okay? With the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Passionate long-term commitment. Tired of fighting. What's the death and rebirth about, please, spirit? What's the death and rebirth about? Yeah. <laughs> death card. It was dead and buried. Like, looks like it might even happen twice. You might have actually said goodbye not once to this person and then gone back to them and had things still not the way you're looking for, um, what you were looking for. And then you ended it with them a second time, okay? And you're really having a hard time with this choice because you know how important this is. You know you're connected to them. You really want them to level up and, and get up to your frequency because they are at a lower level. But it might be that they're new to love, you know? Um, they may not have experienced this before, but because they are more mature, I feel, they're going to be able to turn this around in their favor. Let's look at the Two of Swords. Yeah. You're looking for a new beginning, something passionate, and the universe is giving you just that. The hand out of the cloud, the universe is handing you a brand new beginning passionate brand new beginning okay so let's see what the strength card is thank you spirit ah the king of cups now this might be someone else that's trying to come in because this is the now yeah because you've let go of the emperor might be you've put the death to someone from your past prior to this with the Emperor. Hmm. Yeah, because this is the person you're fighting with. This is the person you've been with for the last little while. This is someone new coming in here, the King of Cups. So with the Strength card. What's the World card then? Let's, oh, oh, they're promising sunshine and happiness and the world to you. Sound too good to be true? <laughs> Only you will know that. Use your intuition, your discernment, and decide for yourself. Put all that information together and yeah, you'll know what to do. What's the page of wands? Oh, the chariot. As above, so below. Yeah, they're coming in. Somebody wants to come in. They're coming towards you. What's the lover's card, please, Spirit? What's the lover's card? Hmm. This might be somebody's manifesting you. Because I don't feel you're manifesting this new person. I don't know if you're... If you've manifested this or if your person has manifested this. Because that is on the lover's card. 
says you have all the tools in your basket here to do it. I mean, if you are the ma magician, then you should be able to make up your own happiness and have your own happiness come true and however you want it to go down, right? Hmm. The Two of Cups. What's the Two of Cups, Spirit? Hmm. They seem to think that they've missed an opportunity with you. So, I'm going to, um, I want to clarify a couple of things here still. So we're going to take a new deck to clarify the Emperor and the King of Cups and the Missed Opportunity. the death cards because you got two two on two for death like that is something you are just totally ending it's something that I don't know if we'll be returning let's see why is the emperor and the five of wands here spirit what's the emperor and the five of wands for Capricorn let's get three cards please spirit so we get a bit of a better understanding. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, we got a four cards anyway. Mm. Yep. Okay. Tell us the whole story. Right here, in a nutshell. Two of Wands. Somebody that is having a strategic <laughs> yeah they're oh, this could be you yeah I feel it's you either because of these endings that you have here you're I don't think you're with anyone if you are then it's just recently you've gotten back together with them but in the recent past you had set your sights on being solo Okay, you had the world in your hand, only one wand, you're leaving the second one behind. You aren't going to bring it with you. In a case that in this relationship with the emperor and the fighting and stuff, there was a third party. And you went to calmer waters with the six of swords. And then you kept walking with the Eight of Cups. Disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Anger, hurt, resentment. There was no denying that this was ending for good. No more chances. And that was in your recent past. Now, whether this person came up to you and um, wanted to engage with you some way or to ask if it was possible to maybe get back with you, you probably said, mm-mm, no way, no how. <laughs> and you're done. See ya. <laughs> you know, so. Um, I don't think you were going to take them back. Can we get the Ace of Wands clarified, please? Thank you. Yes. Empress. The moon. And the five of swords. Yeah. Someone's jealous. Yep. 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 Now the this person's throwing crap on your name and talking about you and is a hater because you're not taking them back. You're not gonna have that new beginning with them, and they're not happy about that. Oh, the King of Cups and the Strength card. Why is the King of Cups and the Strength card here, please, Spirit? The chariot again. Wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
I hope they're in for a bumpy ride, this person here. Um, very loving. They feel quite confident, strong, that they might be able to win your heart. We got the chariot card. Let's keep going. What's the king of cups and the strength card with the chariot, please? Knight of Pentacles. Let's see. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Oh, so he comes back again. <laughs> he is not going to let you go. <laughs> After the second ending, and you walked away again. Knight of Pentacles. So they are coming in. They are the slowest knight of the deck. So if this emperor is coming back, uh, he wants long term with you. Yeah, he's coming back. Because <laughs> he does not want you to entertain this idea of the King of Cups. Okay. <laughs> So what's the world and the sunshine about then? It's the world and the sun card. World and the sun card. They want to be that sun with you and have the world with you. Huh? There's the strength card. Page of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, they're going to give you a pentacle. A page of pentacles. So they want to give you an offer. With the lovers. Wow. With the sunshine in the world. Wow. This person does not give up Capricorn. <laughs> Whoever they are, they want you badly. That is an understatement. <laughs> Let's find out what the chariot and the page of wands is, please, Jared. The chariot and the page of wands. Can we find out a little more on that? Oh, Four of Wands is a happy home, stability. Ace of Swords is a new beginning with truth. No more lies, cheating, extra people, nobody getting in the way of this. I'm gonna cut people out that no longer serve you. Okay, that works. So we have Four of Wands, so that is a love and eleven card. That is the happy home card. That's marriage card. <laughs> now with the wheel of fortune, what? <laughs> and a page of swords. They're fighting for this man. Look at that. They are fighting. They've got their. They're taking a swipe at that duck thing that's going across there. All right, they're fighting for this with you. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune and Four of Wands on their side with the Chariot. <laughs> Expect the unexpected this Christmas. <laughs> What's the Magician and the Lovers, please? Magician and the Lovers, please. Magicians and the Lovers. Huh. What? Illumination. Do you know that is, like, crazy because this deck has like um, a mystery card I guess you could say an illumination is what it comes up as and it's got like a question mark up there like nobody knows it looks like it goes into the spirit hole or the spirit tunnel um, when you meditate so it could be you're getting gifts either that or you could be being illuminated to something that you weren't aware that was hidden before. So, as before, it was too dark to see. Now you see. But I saw the Ace of Swords first. So they want a new beginning with you. Something might be illuminated to help you with that decision. Because they want <laughs> the Sun card. Wow. They are going to make you very happy. With the High Priestess, you're using your uh, um, intuition and your discernment and 
you're looking at this spiritually you're really taking it all in because judgment is here <laughs> it's going to be a judgment call you have free will you know it doesn't have to be something you want to do you can change your mind you know you have free will you don't the universe has given you a gift you know just keep in mind there's always karma <laughs> right it may not be a really bad karma because you don't really want to hurt anybody's feelings if you let them go as long as you do it with love and respect karma coming back isn't gonna hurt you so right so just be kind you know you know who you are you're capricorn so you can be cold you know you can cut people out i know i'm one myself i'm a cappy too so <laughs> i know what that's like and it says here with the king of swords you're gonna do just that if they cross you it won't take you much to walk away from this person if they aren't gonna cooperate if there's gonna be issues or problems or drama they're gone so wow what a reading capricorn <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it at that wow i gotta say what a turnaround for you cappies i like it i'm liking what i'm seeing <laughs> you have somebody that is not gonna give up on you so good luck with that <laughs> I know I'm gonna I'm, I'm going through the same thing right so <laughs> all right cappies take care thanks for uh, tuning in and supporting my channel uh, like share and subscribe if it resonates for you okay um, don't forget to hit that notification bell for when divine design tarot comes up with your next set of messages uh, for your next week